Oh, dearie me. Dearie me, mate. Dearie me, mate. <laughs> Where is he, though? Where is he? Hello, everyone, and welcome to Monza for a set of Corsa compared to Sioni. You just can't keep me off this game at the moment. Absolutely loving it. Here we go. Too fast. Stop it with the compliments. Let's rock and roll and see how we do. It's a bit of a crazy start. I'm not, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. What do you think about the starts in ACC, like with the ghosting and everything? I just... Bit weird for me. Right, we cleared this guy, I think. Let's just throw our hat into the ring for T11. Duh. Slot in here. Why not? Gap was open. We'll do it. We'll roll with it. Someone on the inside. Clear on the left. Okay, you do you, bro. You do you. We'll just crack on. Safety rating penalty for what? Ref. Right, so we are we find ourselves in I have no idea. The relative, the, th the thing in the top left and the bottom left are not talking to each other, are they? But basically, let's try and catch up. Looks like that's a huge accident. Did he survive? Did he just, like, bounce off the wall and just, like, immediately crack on? No, he's there. <laughs> that would be just the goated recovery, wouldn't it? Right, tyre pressures. Is that a bit you can play along at home? Have I got my tyre pressures correctly? I didn't even do qualifying for this race. So, I just completely winged it. Is it winged it or wung it? Whichever, I did, did that. And uh, but feeling good though, we're in the Lambo, home territory, at Monza. These Hondas and BMWs are, they had to get changed in the away changing rooms. The uncomfortable ones. We won't go for a move here. Just bide our time. Trying to give these sausages a wide berth. That's good there because we took that quite quite easily and we kept pace so that bows quite well how are the pressures coming on pressure coming in nicely a bit worried about the front right maybe i under inflated that one. Oh, whoa dearie me both of them having an oversteer understeer the whole shebang through there so again a 20 minute race which to me is just i think for me at the moment just the right amount of time for an ac race let's the race breathe I want to let the race breathe a little bit. Can I let the characters show themselves, reveal themselves, unwillingly. Car on the left. You snooze, you lose, left. boy. I'm gonna go for that all day long. So yeah, just another random race. I don't know who these people are. They don't know who I am. But we're having a great time racing together. As the BMW, whoa, what is he doing? I thought he was gonna sideswipe him there. Mr. Barkin, see if we can catch up with them. They're having a real tete -a tete aren't they? The feeling in ACC, when you skim the curbs, is so good because you know that if you clatter the curbs, it's a one way ticket to disaster. So when you skim it, it's like, oh yeah. It's like in skiing when you just get a really nice turn, you're like, oh yeah, that was, that was nice. So uh, I'm going for that feeling. See if we can drop this beamer behind us. Looks like P5 is under a huge amount of pressure here. So this sort of distance is not a bad place to be to kind of pick up the pieces. I seem to be doing whatever the beamer's doing, going wide, getting oversteer. P crashes, I'm, I'm, we're bound. It's like quantum physics. We do the same thing. So, pressures, pressures, pressures. That right front, I don't think, is moved. It's just frozen at that temperature. But not a billion miles away. I say we're a million miles away, but not a billion. Ooh, what is he doing there? Tell you what. Might be another you snooze, you lose situation. Let's kind of see where he breaks. Say, ooh. He's a character, this guy, I think. He's got his name in all caps. No doubt it would be in Comic Sans if he could choose the font. Gonna happen here. Clear on the right. Car on the right. Clear on the right. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Love it. Love it when two drivers, neither one of you wants to back out. See Car you, mate. Because right. right. I was like, I break late. I've I've really break late. So if you break later than me I, and you're on the inside, good luck. I love that in racing. Right, can we now assume his place as a hander of the Honda? I feel like there must be so much more time in ACC for me around the braking phase because I feel so inconsistent. 
so inconsistent braking, so I'm sure there's loads of time for you there. Can we catch this guy? I'm getting more comfortable with kind of how you can hit the curbs, when you can hit them, um, how you can pivot the car around on its axis. That right front, are you going to do anything? I think I've made a mess of that, haven't I? Went in too deep there, had to kind of break a bit more in a straight line, just drop speed. Two seconds to the Honda, but this guy behind us catching goes, oh it's the mad lad. Oh dear, are you enjoying the race? Let me know in the comments at this point if you're enjoying the race right now. Watching me kind of hopefully get better, where's my braking? Do let me know. I love, honestly, the comments on my ACC videos are just so incredibly knowledgeable. It's insane. I feel very stupid when I read the ACC comments. Like, in the last video I said, I don't know what car I'm driving, and it says in the bottom left there, like, there's loads of icons. So that was a really stupid moment for me. I've made the same... I've made the same... I made the same mistake. <laughs> I made the same mistake. Oh, dearie me. So my thinking there was, like, I'm well ahead. I'll just break at my normal point. And then I think I saw him try and break really, really late. So I thought, okay, I'll release the brake a little bit. And then he baited me. He baited me. Fair play. Fair play. 1-1. One, one. Did we call it 1-1? One, one? Dear. Someone really went deep there. Let's see if we can catch him again. Why well, am to the Honda? Where's the Honda gone? Amongst all of that. Honda? Was that the Honda? Oh, he's still is P4 though. Have people taken drive throughs or something? How are we like not a million miles off a podium here? Okay, let's crack on. Let's keep going. We need, we need to catch this guy. We need to. He's kind of he's kind of our nemesis. Mr. Barkin. I'd love to nibble those sausage curbs a little bit more, and these ones. I'd love to nibble all of them, basically. The 1.7. Fuel is really good. Yeah, we're really, really good on fuel. Oh, and the right front's come alive. Nice. And my right left. My front left, even. Did I just say my right left? That actually happened. You know when I said I feel stupid doing ACC? <laughs> um, the front left is coming along. The rear left is overheated, but my right rear, it's all about that right rear. As you know, at Monza, right, 56, the guy behind, is that? Oh yeah, sure, the actual calamity here. Oh, here we go. That's how you make the corner. I can still do it. Is that the thing I knocked off the track? <laughs> it's just chaos at turn one now. It's turned to like a obstacle course so 1.6 to this guy come on come on come on and then 7 point what's happened to the honda maybe the honda had a bit of a moment or the delta just moving around i can just break a bit later there and harder 1.3 come on we're catching him we're catching him Dear me, not the not quite the cleanest, but 1.1. Surely we're getting a slipstream benefit now. There is a Honda behind us, catching us very, very, very quickly, very quickly. Yellow flag in sector two. That'll be behind us. Look at this Honda behind us. He's on an absolute charge. So if we don't get this done quickly, then. We might, it might be an idea to let this guy through without any drama on the straight if he's going to get a good... He's really catching us. Do we have damage? The team's just very slippy. Or we have much better driver. Or all three. So how much is he going to catch us here? Yeah, it, he, look, he's an absolute rocket ship. Let's let him go, feed into the beamer. So I'm just going to take my normal line, not going to fight this. And let's see if we can catch the other Honda ahead. Clear on the right. 
Got my guy. On the right. Clear on the right. Nice. Right, let's see if we can land some stuff. So much to learn for me. Just generally, but... Well, every race there's so much to learn. But at the moment we're settled into P7, I think. And I think there's positions to be had, right. Yeah, I can definitely break a little bit. I wonder because that sausage curve on the left hand side is a little bit indented. I wonder if you can get your left wheel on on that. Yellow flag ahead, be careful. Flag like ahead, what's this about? Oh, something has happened. In sim racing, yellow flags mean mean prizes. Oh, is that the Honda? Is that a different Honda? That's a different Honda. The Honda we were chasing is now in P3. Is now on the podium. Okay. Loving this. Oh, yeah. Damn, that ACC is really good. It is really good. How is Rensport going to come in and be better than ACC? Like, answer me that. Like, how? I don't understand. From a, from a driving perspective. Where is it? <laughs> it's a three-way fight, boys. What's better than a two-way fight? A three-way fight. Triple the threats. Triple the consequences. Oh, dearie me, dearie me, mate, dearie me, mate. <laughs> Where is he, though? Where is he? Oh, yeah, cheers. Fucking out of the way. Surely he's got to let us through there. My guy. Car on the right. My guy. My guy. My guy. Clear on the right. Yeah. Never in doubt. Can you get your left wheel over that? See, we're like... Sausage flattens out. I don't think you can do it for the second one. Gosh, this Honda is rapid. Oh, penalty ahead of us. Oh dear. Do all of that. I think Gran Turismo would have been gone there. So, stop. Is that a 10 second? Is that a stop go 10 second for PT? Because if, if he has to pit, then we've got him. So then it's, can we get the nine seconds to this hundred and third? It's not impossible. He's gone very deep there. Well, I went deep as well, but... Now, a bit of momentum. I love if we can just kind of... Just kind of force this guy into a dogfight. It would be amazing, because obviously, mano we mano, he's just better than me. He's just a much better driver. But if I can just make it a bit scrappy... Running quite hot there. Bad exit. Lost wish going on second. Ah, oh, dearie me, lost a lot of time. So has P3 pitted then? Is that why he's dropped back? Yeah, he's pitted. Are we actually P4 right now? Wow. But this guy's a rocket ship. We should have we should have been better there to dive him, I think. Ah, oh, dearie me. He's making me look a bit silly, this guy. He's much better. That Honda's in P2. But people are getting track limit penalties. We haven't been that bad in the track limits, actually. Look how much he got me there. So he's definitely going around here. But then I'd lose so many revs. Did make a mistake though. Maybe his car is very slippy. Let's see. We are catching, I think, PT very. Uh, not really, are we? A bit steady. We need people to make mistakes. Get this guy again. I've gone a bit deep that time. He recovered well from it, to be fair. And we'd made a bit of a mistake, so it didn't really matter. But if we just... If we got um, Parabolica right, I'm sure we could have got a lot of slip benefit. 
So, critical moment that. Critical moment. Maybe second gear would have got us a bit more traction as well, I don't know. He's making us a bit silly now. 50.6 for P2, which is, um, we're going to be not a million miles away from that, yeah. Not a million miles away from it. But that's not going to be good enough unless he makes a big mistake. Which can happen. Let's see. Well, I'm going deep here. Oh, just... It's much more awkward this than GT. In GT, it's, you can actually get through quite nice. Like, it's, it's a pleasure sometimes. I've never felt Turn 1 and Turn 2 were a pleasure in ACC. It's just, you can only lose. You can never win, you can only lose. Welcome to Monza. I keep wanting to try and cut this curl, but I feel like middle of a race isn't the best time. But look how low we get here. Oh dear. That beam is also, I think, probably catching us because we're, we're driving a bit inconsistently right now. Do you know what? The gap between second and third is only five seconds now. Do you think that Honda's going to catch him? Either which way, second is going to be feeling the pressure because P1 is like way quicker. But that gap is visibly closer, isn't it? Visibly closer. Let's keep an eye out for that. I, I, I doubt set going out second can be the optimal thing. 50.5 and for P3. Oh my word. P3 two seconds quicker two seconds quicker so at this rate he will actually catch him I think he will just about catch him because the gap now is four seconds and he's going to feel the pressure as he sees that coming down four seconds three seconds Need to get onto first, so I don't know. We're dropping P5. Yeah, again, let me know in the comments how's my driving, what am I doing well, what am I doing wrong? Because I don't know what I should be looking for. So please, please, please let me know if you're part of the ACC journey. I know there's so much for me to improve on, and I want to get better, I really do. Three laps, three laps. We, we got the fuel pretty, pretty okay, I think. So it's gonna be two laps to go. That gap now is less than three seconds, but it's the last lap. Oh, I don't know. So my pace has been pretty similar to P2. We just made mistakes and um, ended up a bit further behind. 48.6 again, 48.3. What is that gap? Oh, it's now only two seconds. We'll get a slip benefit as well. Let's just hang around here, I think. To get my V-Box telemetry again and see what I can do better into turn one. Should be, really is like the cornerstone, the fundamental building block of racing at Monza is T1 and T2. You kind of have to build from there. That gap looks very close. Oh yeah, it's physically close. Oh dear, it's sliding a bit. What's our tyre saying? Slightly, well, front right, but slightly underinflated. Wasn't that rear left overinflated at one point? About a second now, the gap. 
someone's going to live the polystyrene here. It's good, good signs. <laughs> I like it. About half a second. Is the otter going to sweep? Surely parabolic is a huge one. Let's see. Hopefully our lap times have been fairly consistent, I think. Not necessarily good, but consistent. So he hasn't got past him. I think there was a dust up. There was a big dust up into um, Ascari by the looks of things. But yeah, another good race. Not my best race, I'd say, but you know, P4 in this lobby of, I think at least 14 drivers. Um, we're doing okay in the open lobbies. I think we need to start to, maybe we need to get involved into the league stuff. I don't know, but it seems a bit, I, I don't think I'm ready for that yet. I don't know, let me know in, in the comments what we should be doing on ACC, but really hope you enjoyed this race. There's some more ACC videos around if you wanna watch them. Loads of stuff on the channel as well. So yeah, thank you so much. Thank you if you like, subscribe, commented, all of that good stuff. Really appreciate you. Makes my day. I'll see you next time.